Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to construct a simple variable power supply without the use of integrated circuits using nothing but discrete components. Hello, my name is Lewis Laughlin. and I am your host for this little lecture. Please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. I did a video on a negative power supply. Well, this one's that's basically the same thing. I just used different transistors and reversed the polarity. The ground on this particular one is negative. I got 15 volts coming in up here at this point. Here I have a 330 ohm resistor in series with a 10 volt Zener diode. Note the polarity of the caps in the Zener if you've watched the other video on the negative power supply. This is going to give me the Zener diode in itself forms a shunt regulator and I have a 10 volt reference voltage which is connected to a 1000 ohm potentiometer. The potentiometer wiper goes to a TIP120 Darlington transistor. This is used to drive a much um, heavier 2N3055 NPN power transistor. Let's argue that I have adjusted the potentiometer that I have 5 volts on the wiper. You will find that the base emitter junctions, which there's two of them in the Darlington, will add about 1.2 volts to the 5 volts. Then you're going to add maybe 0.5 to 0.6 from the base emitter junction to the 2N3055. So this is going to be, well, I don't know, if it's 5 volts, it's going to come out to be 6.8 up here, probably something like that, or 6.5. Remember, measure your voltage, adjust your pot. This will go all the way to zero. This doesn't work when you go to zero. The potentiometer essentially is grounded. No current will flow into the base of the TIP120, thus no collector emitter current, thus no base current for the 2N3055, and you get zero volts. That's it. That's all there is to it. Give it a try if you need a simple, quick, and this 2N3055 can handle up to, what, 15 amps? I wouldn't run it that high. 10 would be the most. So give it a try. See what you think. And thanks for listening.